Hello, uh, my name is Blossom and I am a member of the Fort Sill Chilkawa Apache tribe and also Mountain Kauia from here in Southern California. I have my daughters with me today. This is Ajila and Walela, and we are gonna share with you um, a little bit about our string games, which is a traditional game um, that native children would play. Um, you already learned a little bit about um, string and cordage making from Willie. There were many uses for the cordage and string, and some of them were involved with using for toys, um, also different games and, and things like that. So I have my string here, and you might recognize this from Willie's presentation. Um, this is a dog bane string. I like to keep it on my wrist, that way I'm always ready for string games. And one of the string games that we'll be learning today is a, um, a figure that makes a palm tree. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you guys how that's done. And it's really easy. There it is. There's the palm tree. And Walela is going to show you what are you going to show? The drum? Yeah. Now, string games are a very important way to tell stories, to uh, teach lessons, pass down traditions. Um, it's fun. It's, it's good for your memory. Um, so that was her drum that she made. <laughs> OK, and then Ajila. What are you going to show? Butterfly. She's going to show the butterfly. This one is a little more um, difficult. There's a, a lot of, a few more steps to it. And it also is really good for um, teaching hand-eye coordination and dexterity in your fingers. And there's the beautiful Kawea butterfly. Um, a lot of our jobs that you would have as a native woman or person, they, they involved um, using your hands and um, just being really skilled with making things, um, especially baskets. Basket weaving was a very important um, part of our life, our daily life and skills. So um, having children play these games um, was was not just a, a way to you know keep them entertained it was teaching them something teaching them that skill um, so it's it was very important um, so i'm going to go through now the steps of what you're going to do first of all before we get into that i'm going to show you so this is a uh, yarn you can find it in like michael's or um, other craft stores things like that um, and this works really well. And so we're going to cut a piece of this yarn. Let me hold that there. And so you're going to want to measure how, how <laughs> wide your hands come out like this. So everybody's going to be different because everybody's different sizes. So you're just going to measure your hands like this. So you'll go about that size. And then you'll cut, uh, you're going to double that, let, let a little bit of string out. So you want to double it like, so it's about this size here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tie a knot at the end of those, those two ends there. Just a little knot like that and then you're ready for your string game. Okay, so before we get started on instructing how to make the string games, we're gonna go over um, a few terms that we'll be using. So you have your left hand and your right hand. 
and you'll have your left palm string and your right palm string. Those are very important so you don't get mixed up and lost within uh, when you're trying to make your string game. So I'll go back to using my special string here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring both of your thumbs through the string. And then you're gonna stretch them out, reach them out like this. Then the next thing you'll do is you'll pick up the string with your pinky fingers on both sides, just like that. Then you're gonna bring your right middle finger over to your left palm string. So you bring it over, you pick it up, you're gonna do a twist, and then you come out just like that. Now your left middle finger will come over to your right palm string, and you see this string that's on your right hand middle finger, it's, um, it goes on top of that palm string. So you're gonna go through there, pick up that right palm string, just like that. All the way, uh, you wanna bring it down to it till it reaches close to your knuckles there. And then from there, what you do is you release your uh, right pinky and your right thumb string. You don't want to let go of this middle finger, your right, your right middle finger. <laughs> and that's going to create your palm tree. And that's all. So we'll go through those steps again. So you bring both of your thumbs through. You're going to stretch it out. Come through, pick up with your left, uh, both your pinky strings, um, right middle finger, come to your left palm string, pick up and twist, bring it through, left middle finger to your right palm string, pick up, no twist on this one. You don't wanna do any twist on that one. You just bring it straight through like that. Then I'll drop my right hand down and release your right pinky and your right thumb string, just like that. It's really easy once you figure it out. Um, and once you do figure it out, you want to repeat it so that you get it in your memory, so that you remember how to do it. And another thing is um, once you figure out how to do it on your own and maybe your friend is having trouble, you would help them. So it's passing it on, um, and that's another way uh, our, our people traditionally learn things is by learning from other people, by telling stories and sharing and things like that. So just like I'm here sharing with you guys, you want to help your friends and, um, and learn, teach them what you have learned and so that it keeps passing on. So another thing that's really fun that you could do with these string games is once you get to know how to do that really well and you have a group of friends and, and you all know how to do it, you can race to see who can make it the fastest. So Wally, Walela and Ajila and I are going, going to race to make the drum. So we're going to start with our strings like this and then we're going to Mark, get set, go. So Walela is clearly the pro <laughs> at the drum. Okay, so now me and Ajila are going to race to make the butterfly. We start like this. Mark, get set, go. <laughs> okay, I need to step up my game. <laughs> You're the winner. <laughs> so I need to practice. 